With a flat block rate, each kilowatt hour you used was billed at the same price. In this case, 10 cents a kilowatt hour. On Wednesday, July 1st, this customer used 45 kilowatt hours at a cost of $4.50. On Thursday, she used an additional 35 kilowatt hours at a cost of $3.50, bringing her energy bill total to $8 for the month so far. These totals reflect her usage pattern washing and drying, running the dishwasher, the air conditioner, turning on and off the lights, and watching the TV. Other equipment, like the pool and jacuzzi pumps, are usually on a timer, and the refrigerator cycles on and off to maintain its set temperature. Over the month, this all adds up. This customer used 1,250 kilowatt hours in the month and paid $125. The investor-owned utilities in California no longer employ a flat block rate. Instead, they now use what is known as an inverted block or tiered rate, which we will see in the next graph. In the inverted block rate, a baseline tier is established, baseline being defined as the maximum usage in kilowatt hours that can be billed at the lowest price. The rate is structured so successive tiers are built as follows. Tier 2 is 101 to 130 percent of baseline. Tier 3 is 131 to 200 percent. Tier 4 is 201 percent to 300 percent. And Tier 5 is all usage over 300 percent of baseline. The baseline usage amount is determined by where you live. In this case, PG&E's E1 residential rate schedule. The customer is in territory X, where the baseline amount is 12.1 kilowatt hours per day. When the baseline usage amount is multiplied by the 31 days in July, this gives the customer 375 kilowatt hours per month that they can use at the first tier rate of 11 cents a piece. The price of electricity increases with each successive block. On the first day of the month, the customer used 45 kilowatt hours and paid $5.20. On the second day, she used 35 kilowatt hours, costing her $4.04 and so on, until her meter reached 335 kilowatt hours. Thus, for the first week in July, from Wednesday, July 1st to Wednesday, July 8th, our customer was being charged 11 cents a kilowatt hour for her daily usage. At this point, the second tier price of 13 cents per kilowatt hour kicked in. Given what she was using, this rate only lasted for two days before tier 3 kicked in, at which point the customer began paying 25 cents per kilowatt hour, nearly double the previous rate. A week later, she jumped into the fourth tier and began being charged 35 cents for every kilowatt hour she used. The fifth and final tier cost her 41 cents per kilowatt hour, so that by the end of the month, every kilowatt she used was costing nearly four times more than what she was paying at the beginning of the month. You can see that she paid $5.20 for the 45 kilowatt hours on the first day of the month, but the same 45 kilowatt hours cost nearly 400% as much on the last day of the month, $18.45. This rate structure is obviously designed to penalize high monthly usage.